Hi, my name is Henry Story, and uh, this will be a quick presentation on how you can get yourself a web ID, which is the um, core component to start uh, the global social web. I retrofitted XWiki, which is a Java-based wiki, with mm, some very lightweight uh, components using vel um, Velocity, a nice a little scripting language that you can um, that you can um, uh, script uh, XWiki with. So this is to say that there is nothing very complicated technically behind this. Um, so we're um, from an end user point of view, he doesn't care about that. He arrives at this uh, uh, wiki page, and he has to log in. So, well, he has to register first. So, this is the problem of most web uh, applications, is that um, we have to fill in these forms. Again and again. Luckily, uh, and then we have to register. And well, okay, so HJS exists already. Perhaps Henry Story exists. And now uh, we have to do that. And that user exists. So I'm just making it a little bit more. Uh, complicate. I'm just showing you a little bit how complicated these little login procedures are uh, and why um, you probably lose 80% of uh, the people who would come to your website if you ever present them with uh, a registration form. So I registered as HJS3 after a few tries. Uh, was uh, received this form. I can remember the password. And I can go to the profile page, which has very little information about me currently. Now, of course, why would anybody want to put a lot of information on a wiki? And this isn't um, a wiki profile page is not uh, the best use case. Really, what uh, what would be nice would be that you arrive you're already at this page on one of the websites you have, and that all that's been added there is this little button here. Now, let's just add a little bit more information to this web page. Let's add the blog. So we have something that's a little bit more realistic. Uh, I don't want to add the, uh, the picture because that will just bore us all right now. And here we are. We have something of a, uh, uh, something of a personal profile page. So here, uh, up till here, there's nothing new. Um, what's new is just this one little button down here. And I'm going to uh, give this a name so I can remember it. And I'm going to submit a certificate request. And that's just clicking that button. And what happens here is the browser creates a public and a private key, sends the public key over to the um, XWiki server. The XWiki server creates a certificate and sends it back. And what we see here is a little alert box that says, your personal certificate has been installed. You should keep a backup copy of it. Well, we can ignore that because they're so easy to create that we can create one whenever, if ever we need one. And that's it. Here we have now, this URL has now become a web ID. There's a public key in here, and we can use this to log into other sites. Let's look at a few of these. Um, perhaps the uh, best one is uh, fof.me. Let's log into the account here. And what happens is the browser, this has been integrated in the browser for um, years, uh, in, uh, at least two th uh, since uh, 1997, uh, 1998. Uh, the browser just asked me for my identity. And I can click this one. Off goes the certificate to the server with a public key. 
and the URL uh, of my uh, home page, what we call a web ID because it's a URL of your home page with a hash me which is uh, uh, described in RDF as being a fourth person. Right, so that's a, my URL, it's my ID. And indeed, here I arrive at fofth.me, a website I've never been to before, and it knows my name and it knows my blog. So that's pretty cool. I haven't had to create an account on fofth.me. Now let's, let's try a different browser. One thing about fofth.me on um, um, here, this is Chromium, uh, a re release of um, uh, the developer release of Chrome, which has fixed a few bugs on the certific uh, certificate um, creation side. And here, what I want to do is I want to show you how I'm going to log in with uh, my own um, uh, web ID where I have a lot more information and to show you a little bit how much how, how useful this can be. Okay. And there we go. Here I've logged into a server that I've never been to before and, it's re and it has got all the information from this uh, URL here. And you can see it has uh, information about me, a picture of me, my name, my various email addresses, phone number, blog, even my address, um, and uh, indeed people I know. And for example, if I click on Tim Berners-Lee, it can get the information from Tim Berners-Lee's website, and uh, which he can keep, which he keeps up to date and uh, describe Tim Berners-Lee in more detail here. So this is just a very simple example of how easy it is, one, to get a web ID, and um, how useful it is once you add information to your profile, uh, because you can go to uh, any of these other um, websites and log in in one way. Uh, if I open another browser, yeah, Opera, this is what I wanted to do. And um, uh, here I want to, I'm going to uh, log in with uh, this HJS3 account. And that's, uh, I remember the password. So now I can log in with the um, password that I used in the Firefox browser. Here I'm using Opera, so a different browser. could be on a different computer. I go to my profile page, and I don't have a certificate for... I have a Firefox certificate, but I don't have an Opera certificate, so I'm going to create an Opera certificate. Um, submit a certificate request, and... Um, it adds the certificate to my keychain. And now I can go to um, one of these other uh, sites and log in from Opera using um, my Opera certificate. So Opera asked me. F uh, Opera is quite tight on uh, security, and it asked me for uh, a password for the keychain. But this password doesn't leave the computer, so it's safe, and I can always use the same password on my own computer. And indeed, apart from this little uh, SQL bug, because these are all um, test um, uh, example websites. Uh, I've been able to be log uh, log in with the uh, the web ID HJS three hash me.